Hey cuties, what's up and welcome back to my Roblox channel. Now before we get going, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. So in today's roleplay video, I went to the dentist for the very first time. I think the cafeteria lady is actually trying to kill us with this food. Oh come on, it's not that bad. Yeah, that's because you're eating a sandwich your mom packed you. I bought lunch here. Hey, well that's what you get for having money to buy school lunch. Some of us do things the poor way. that same evening. Mmm, honey, these burgers are delicious. Ouch! Mackenzie, what's wrong, honey? What do you mean? Nothing's wrong. Why would anything be wrong? Well, because every time you eat your burger, you wince like something hurts. Or is it just your mom's cooking? Very funny. It's nothing, really. I swear, it's no big deal. If it's no big deal, then why are you yelping in pain? Okay, okay, it's just one of my teeth kind of hurt, but it's no big deal, really. Which tooth? One in the back. I don't know, I can't see it. Sounds like one of your molars. Yeah, we should probably take you to the dentist. What? No, no, I'll be fine. Even if it rots and I lose it, I'll be fine. Don't you think you're being a little bit dramatic? No, no, I don't think I'm being dramatic enough. I don't want anyone touching my mouth, never mind someone with a drill. It's horrifying. Yeah, but at the end, you get a new toothbrush. What other doctor gives you a souvenir? I don't care. No one is touching my teeth. End of story. I can live without a new toothbrush. Well, that's really too bad for you. Why? Because I made homemade taffy for dessert. But if you have a bad tooth, you can eat it. Oh, I'm sure I still can. And even if it hurts a little, I'll manage. No, no, no. No dinner, no dentist, no taffy for you. See, I can totally eat. It's not that bad. Ow. Okay, maybe it is. The next day. Okay, I know what I said yesterday, but the universe must have heard me because this cafeteria lady really stepped up her game. Now we have pizza and not frozen pizza. I'd say this is the best day ever that also happens to be a school day. Wow, that looks good. Hey, where's your lunch? You don't have anything. Oh, sure I do. Where? I legit don't see any food. Ta-da! You have got to be kidding me, girly. What? Since I can no longer chew, I figured that a liquid diet is my only option. And it's really not bad, I swear. I'm just having smoothies for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and chocolate milk for dessert. Really, I think I'm onto something. You have lost your mind. Why? Because I'd rather drink something delicious than have a random stranger pull up my tooth? I really think this is a small price to pay to avoid the dentist. You say that now, but just wait until you can't have cotton candy or ice cream or anything else good. One step ahead of you. I don't need to chew ice cream, and cotton candy just dissolves in your mouth. So there, problem solved. Oh, ow, ow! So I guess the problem isn't solved? No, it's just a brain freeze. I'm fine. Really, though, girl, you can't just live on liquids. You'll die from lack of nutrition. Then what do you suggest I do, Skye? Because I am not going to the dentist. Don't worry, you've made that perfectly clear. Hmm, we'll just have to think of another way to get that tooth out. Hey, if I'm not letting the dentist touch my teeth, I am certainly not letting you touch them either. Ew, I don't want to go and check your mouth. Gross. But I do have another idea. Have you heard of the tying your tooth to the door trick? No, what's that? My mom told me a 
it's what she used to do when they were kids. So, you know, back in the dinosaur days. Okay, so are you going to make jokes about how old your mom is, or are you going to tell me the trick? Um, I was planning on both, but anyway, you tie one end of the string around your tooth and the other end around the doorknob. Oh, jeez, I don't like where this is going. And then you slam the door shut as hard as you can. And that's what I was afraid of. Well, that tooth needs to come out sooner or later, so do you have any other Like, really, really badly. Well, it's that or the dentist. The choice is up to you. I personally would go to the dentist because they have things they can give you for pain. But still, it's your choice. Oh, fine. It's still better than going to the dentist. All right, I'll do it. A few moments later. Did you bring it? This is all I could find. A rope? What are you trying to kill me? Don't freak out. It'll still tie around. We need that molar to come out. And I don't see you offering up any alternatives. Okay, okay, let's just get this over with. We're just gonna need to slam the door as hard as we can and hope it comes out first try. I better get a really big bill from the Tooth Fairy after I've gone through all this. Again, why I voted for the dentist. Because sometimes when they take your teeth out, it comes in two pieces, so you get extra money. Okay, I'll shut up. Okay, let's just do this. Uh, I don't think I can watch. You don't think you can watch? Sky, you have to be the one to do it. Uh, Meanwhile... Ah! Huh? What was that? What in God's green earth is going on in here? Well, that failed miserably. I guess we really did need string. Ow, ow, ow. I almost just lost my entire jaw. Oh, my gosh. I don't think it's going to hurt any worse. Were you two? Did you tie that rope to your two to try and get it out? It's a possibility. My hypothesis is that it failed. But overall, a good experiment. Well done, everyone. Think for yourself. for these molars to come out without pliers. So you were trying to have your best friend rip it from your skull with a door? You could have been killed. That's it. This has gone too far. You, young lady, are going to the dentist. No, 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 no. I'll do anything. Pull it out with pliers right here. Just not the dentist. Now you are definitely going because I want you to face your fear. That's what I told her in the first place, Mrs. McKenzie's mom, ma'am. Good. Then we're all in agreement. Mackenzie, I'm going to call and get you an appointment at Dr. Spike's office. We are going to go and put this fear to bed once and for all. Oh, great. I'm too young to die. Come on, Mackenzie. By this time tomorrow, you are going to laugh at how nervous you were when you see how easy going to the dentist really is. The next day... Is it too late to turn back now? Mackenzie, the building is right there. We're going. Now, come on. The sooner we get in, the sooner we get out. That's so easy for you to say. They're not cutting into your mouth. Nobody is cutting into your mouth, honey. You make it seem like you're about to get a hell down and someone is going to rip your teeth out with pliers. Isn't that exactly what's going to happen? No, this isn't a horror movie of nothing to be afraid of. Now, come on, let's get this over with. I'm pretty sure that's what they say in horror movies before they take all of your teeth out. Ah, I can't do this. A few moments later. McKenna! Moments later. Okay, okay, I got 
this. I can do this. It doesn't hurt yet. Hi there, Mackenzie. My name is Dr. Spike. What seems to be the problem today? Hi, um, my tooth in the back, it, like, really hurts. Whoa, I can tell you're nervous. Relax. You aren't gonna feel a thing. I'm not. Let's just take a look. I won't touch you, I promise. Aha, I see the problem. Your adult molar is coming in behind your baby molar, but your baby molar is too stubborn to fall out. Oh, is that what's causing the pain? Yeah, it's super common. What I'm gonna do is give you just a little shot so you don't feel anything, then take it out super duper gently. A shot? In my mouth? Don't worry, I'll put something to numb it before so you won't even feel the shot. And it'll taste like mint, so a double win. Are you ready? Um, I guess so. A few moments later. Whoa. Oh, we're already done. I took it out when you were distracted. Told you that would be that easy. Wait, that's it? I guess this place isn't so bad after all. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and congratulations to Hope Loves You for being our post certification winner. If you guys want to be our next post certification winner, all you have to do is turn those post certifications on and call me Doc.